he would have loved it. Let's find a way. Some Morehouse students don't know if they can attend classes after the holiday break after they received scholarship money and the college asked for the money back. Many of their accounts are now in the red and they don't know what to do. Channel 2's Taisha Fernandez is live outside of Morehouse College for us. And Taisha, you spoke with students and you even reached out to the school about this. Wendy, this is only affecting students who live off campus. So basically, students who live here on Morehouse's campus, their scholarship money from the institution is all good. But students who live over here off campus, they've got to pay the money back. And many students I spoke to today said no one ever mentioned that part. I knew that this was the only HBCU for me. Aiden Clark Veal is a sophomore at Morehouse College, a future doctor who has always gotten good grades. So when he got a nearly $12,000 scholarship from Morehouse, he felt great because that's about half of his total expenses for the year. Felt very comfortable. But not for long. About a week after he received the money, Morehouse took it back, bringing his account into the negative. Clearly there's been a change and students were not made aware of that. He believes everything changed when the financial aid staff was replaced. He also had to get an off-campus apartment this year because Morehouse did not have enough housing for him and many other students. I reached out to Morehouse and they sent me a statement that says external scholarship funds can be used for off-campus living expenses, while funds provided directly by Morehouse are used to address living and learning expenses on campus. There was um, some misleading in the marketing. Um, I've never heard of a scholarship that has to be paid back. Aiden's mother has been trying to help him and several other students who are now desperately trying to come up with thousands of dollars so they can continue their education. Doubt. I don't think that they got up and came to work, you know, with an intention to screw over off-campus students, but at a point when the students are basically begging you in your office, hey, I can't pay my rent, you know, what does it take to get you to pay attention and say, hey, we need to look at this? Many students want that policy changed, but at the very least, they want staff to be clear with students about this policy. Students who are in financial trouble started a GoFundMe account. They felt like they had no other place to turn. If you'd like to help them, we put a link on our website, WSBTV.com. Just look for links mentioned on two. We're live in Southwest Atlanta. Taisha Fernandez, Channel 2 Action News.